Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I've been sent the M1S Pro motorcycle Bluetooth headset, and they could promise to be the best motorcycle comms at this price point. So let's cue the intro. So FOD Sports have sent me these, the M1S Pro. Now this is the dual, so this is where you get two for you and your mate, you and your missus, whoever. So basically these are Bluetooth comms and these are in theory and could be the best comms on the market at the price point. Now you can pick these up dual for just under 168 euros. And if you're in the UK and you're asking, but I've got to wait for it to come across over the sea to get to me, they have a UK distribution center. Now these pack quite a punch, quite an impressive punch. So let me go through all the things that these promise to do. Now these Bluetooth headsets come fully packed with grouping intercom mode, you can charge whilst you're going along. That is absolutely awesome if you're on a big road trip. CVC, digital noise reduction. So basically cutting out a lot of that background noise that you hear when you're riding along. Online update, so you never have to worry about them ever going out of date and they'll always be improving. You can play music as you're going down the road. They have perfect 40 millimeter speakers. They last for 20 working hours, 20 working hours. That is really, really cool. That's a long, long time for comms to work. And you can also use voice prompt functions. And the other side with these as well is that they are waterproof. And I'm not gonna name any of the big brands, but it begins with an S. A lot of theirs is water resistant. There's a bit of a concern. These are waterproof. So let's get these unboxed, installed, and out on the road for an 11 out of 10 test. Because if these are as good as they sound, this could be really awesome. And not just that, I've got you an exclusive 12% off. All you need to do is go to their website and when ordering, all you'll do is put in discount code helmethead and then you will get 12% off. But before you do that, let's chuck these in the helmet, let's get it on the road. So here we go, the big unboxing. So what do you get in the box? You get obviously your quick start guide. We'll be using them to install operations manual. Then of course your proper installation guide. And there she is. There she is. That's quite a nice little unit. I'd say actually smaller than some that I have seen. What will be quite nice and slick against the helmet. Not bad on width as well. Obviously volume up, volume down button from just literally looks like simple to use. That looks like the connection button. And obviously we'll go through what the rest of it does as we go. But you've got yourself a little charger there. Pretty good so far. What else have we got inside the box? Here are your speakers. You've got a boom mic just there. You've got a normal stick on mic that you can put inside of your lid as well and then of course you've got all your attachments so you can attach that to your helmet plus you've got these are for the speakers and they've got some spacers as well so for people that like it closer or if you're using things like earplugs you need the speakers quite close to your ears it comes with the spacers literally everything you'd expect that you need to put it in a helmet it comes with a lot so i'm going to obviously speed this footage up but this is super super quick so all we need to do is take out all of your line and make sure you put your speakers into the slots on each side if your helmet has it or make sure you line them up to your ears and obviously place your mic there you will be installing obviously the unit on which side that you decide you want to put it on again follow their instructions and then obviously you connect up all of your wiring and then make sure that your unit is fully charged and then you'll be out on the road using it for the first time. But I'm gonna chuck it in, like I said, speed this up and let's get out on the road and test this unit properly. So installing the M1S is pretty much like any other comms. It's dead simple to install. I'd always recommend removing the lining from your helmet first. I've put so many in this, I know which bits to peel back to get the comms in. It took around probably a maximum of five minutes to install. And it's a nice, easy, slick design as well. That actual uh, unit itself is not massively chunky and big. 
and that's you know it's quite nice to see look it's not taking up too much room that's really really cool now i'm going to study the quick start guide so i know which buttons do what i'm going to take the other comm unit around to the sidekick get him to install his in his helmet then of course we're going to put this under its 11 out of 10 test where we'll be able to see what it sounds like from comms to comms how far that we can get and at different speeds as well to make sure the comms unit is as good as I'm hoping it's going to be. Then of course, we will also listen to some music, try some of the other features of the comms unit. But so far, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Anyway, let's see what this is like on the road. So here we are on the road test. Both comms are connected, super easy, two buttons, press one button and it literally connects straight away. So far, it's sounding quite good just on connection, but first things first, first proper test, we're gonna take it down the main road, get to 60, because that's the biggest challenge. A lot of comms drop out sort of 30 40 you can't hear each other so road test one here we go here we go then we're going to be going straight off this roundabout up to 60 and see what this is like now i've got my not so beautiful assistant like you know like the bold guy gets debbie mcgee that's really gorgeous i end up with the sidekick the hairy biker but none of that matters if he's ugly most important thing of it is is how do the sound not too bad, it is a little bit crackly, but... I can hear you crystal clear in mine, absolutely crystal clear. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I could probably just do it turning my volume up just a little touch now, but I can still hear you nice and clear. That is fantastic. So there you go, 60 miles an hour straight away. We're having a smooth, easy conversation. Now, the sidekick probably isn't massively far back, but we are going to do a range test. But riding along, this is a main road. 60 miles an hour just over 100 kilometers and we heard that nice and smoothly and there's no at the minute there's no buzz there's no kind of for me there's no crackling coming through on the actual speakers themselves even at low speed yeah no everything sounds quite good really doesn't it yeah that's pretty impressive to be fair and now of course a little bit of country riding nice steady easy 40 50 miles an hour enjoying the countryside and of course I've got the sidekick behind me and the comms and communication is sounding crystal clear. How good am I sounding to you? Yeah, it's sounding spot on, no issues really. It's, uh, like you say, booting along at this sort of speed, everything sounds uh, sounds fine. Yeah, there's been no, so far, there's been no kind of in, like interruption at all in, in regards to the sig like signal, it's not dropped out, our comms haven't disconnected. It's been a solid connection throughout the ride so far yeah there's been been no issues has there like you say there's no glitchiness there's no uh there's no robot sounds or anything like that everything sounds good well let's move on to the next test so now it's time for the range test now you've got to remember this is bluetooth to bluetooth this isn't via phones or anything else this is sheerly bluetooth comms to the other bluetooth comms and how far it can go so what we're going to do is i'm going to stay in one spot i'm going to send the sidekick off and we're going to see exactly the distance that these are capable of but so far so good so this is it this is the range test now i'll put the drone up as well to give you an idea and i'm going to put the drone picture up as soon as he sets off but basically the tree in the corner is where I'm stood and we're going to see exactly how far he can actually go so I'm going to hit record on here and let's see how far you can possibly go on range let's go I'm going to stand right next to this tree to give it a fair chance so you know exactly where I am here we go let's see the distance that we can get to I'll take a steady ride down no need to go too fast is there yeah you're still crystal clear at the minute but yeah uh, still pretty good Keep talking to me, baby. Well, I really wanted Debbie McGee for, for this, but apparently she was busy, so you had to do. It's right. a bit of a shame. Well, yeah, I wanted somebody else to do it with as well, but... Uh, but in future, you're going to need a dress, so... <laughs> I'll have to borrow one of yours, won't I, I suppose? So we're starting to start to get a little bit of crackle now, and you're right Probably. down the end of the road. Yeah, I'm going to a little bit of crackle through on my end. I can still hear you perfectly, to be fair. Right, keep going. I am keep going I mean that's uh, a fair distance that is yeah but like you are adopting the distance now yeah I can still hear you perfectly and now you're about to go behind a load of trees yeah I can still hear you though well I mean that for Bluetooth to Bluetooth that's <laughs> all we're running on now nothing else that's that some range that is you are gone mate you are literally out of view out of sight behind trees gone to kingdom come but you are starting to break up a little bit 
Yeah, that's it. That's as far as you well. You've gone so far. I can't see you. You're probably. I mean, that is impressive. I can't believe I can still hear you. And it's just literally for me, just dropped out now. It's just gone. That's impressive. So we reckon that we got about one kilometre from these. That is really, really impressive. Anyway, up next is the phone call test. Let me give him a call and let's just see how clear that is. So here we go. Sidekick, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Am I the best looking man in the entire world? No, that thought that makes me sick. Ugh. That now brings us to the final test, the music test, because we all like to listen to music. We all like to listen to our tunes as we ride along. So let's just see if the sound quality of these are any good. Well, that is all the test done, and I've got to say, everything's done what it says it's going to do. Literally, what's written on the tin is what it does. It's been great at communication all the way through, 60 miles an hour, normal country riding, having a phone call, distance was absolutely incredible. Music, sound quality. All that for this price. It's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. 